Hello again, this is UML Operator. In this session, we're going to pick up where we left off in our last session titled Getting Started with Spark CA Custom Reporting, The Basics. In our last session, we created a custom report from scratch. We navigated the sections tooling on the left side and started adding some tags. We showed where our custom templates are stored and we added package elements and element tags. And finally, we added some static content with a logo. So here's the report we created in the last session. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So we're in, this is the template we used to build that report. So you can see that we added a package name. That's from the package and package element. And then if you remember, when you add a tag, it asks you to right click. And then you'll see insert field. And then you can choose what you want to choose. We, we chose name. You can see package name. We're going to add notes. Actually, I'm going to remove this because that's not where I want to add notes. You could add the notes there. But then it'd be redundant. I want the, to cycle through the package element. And I'm going to put a space under this, the package element. And I'm going to right click, insert field. And I'm going to go to notes. We're going to add notes there. That'll make more sense in a moment. So under each element name, uh, I, what I want to do is add, I don't want, uh, let's see how it numbers. I want to add element notes. So I'm going to right click here, choose this, go down to element notes. So you can see element notes versus package notes. Let's say, save this and let's see what it looks like. So just as usual, we're going to make sure we're on the package we want to report on. We're going to hit function key eight and the dialog box pops up. We're going to use the list template. This is what we're designing and developing right now. And we're going to go to this destination, this output file, right? Hit generate, hit view. And now you can see manage package, manage packet notes. Let's look at it. Manage packet package, manage package notes. And then under each element, let's go to the first one, add new titles. You can see notes. So we have one, notes, two, notes, three. There's no notes under three. Interesting. So that's where reporting is good. That got removed. But you have your notes. So we have the name, element name, the author, and the notes. I'm not liking how this report is churning out in design. Let me go ahead and close this. And what I want to do is make a copy of list and I'm going to call it list details. So what I'm going to do is back out of the changes that I made on this, take it back to the original list template, and then I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go to resources and then I'm going to right click on templates and I'm going to create a new template, right? And this is going to be called list details. And I'm going to copy the template list, right? And it's going to be in that. Leaving the default group, it's going to fall automatically under templates. Let's go ahead and hit OK. So we just created list details. Here's list. Here's list details. And we're going to customize this report that's going to work better for what we're doing. So in this design, what I want to take out is the ordered list reference. So I've selected the line where order list is, and I'm simply going to toggle it off. I'm going to hit a space right here because I want, you know, maybe I'm, now I am going to go authored by, then I'm going to put in another space. And this I'm going to make header two. So you can see up here, this is header one. I'm going to make this header two, right? So header, header two. Bring down the, so I can expand it, header two, right? And then let's, let's see how this looks before we do anything else. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go back to project. It'll be on the package that we're going to be testing with. Hit function key eight again. Leave all the details, you know, oh, actually I do want to change this to list details. So the template now is list details versus list. 
and now leave everything else the same. We'll go ahead and step on this report, generate and view. So now we've got header one, and now each element underneath it, header two, and then we moved authored by down below. And in this next line, we're gonna put notes to describe each one of the use cases. We're gonna go ahead and close this. And I noticed in that report, we lost our element notes under the package. So I'm gonna hit space bar. I'm gonna right click, insert field, and we're going to put in notes. So we've got element, package element notes. Now under this, under the element, right underneath authored by, and the element author, we're gonna right click, insert, and we're gonna put in notes here as well, All right? So now we have package element notes and we have element notes are all in the right place. So we're gonna hit Control S to save, to go to the package that we wanna test on, hit function key eight, bring up the dialog box, make sure our templates list details, Let's leave this output file the same, everything else the same, go ahead and hit generate and hit view and there we go we got our notes back for the parent package and then we have now we have notes under each one of the elements that are here and still I, we need to add notes for edit titles all right for edit titles let's go back edit title is not in scope in fact we changed it to manage titles manage titles which does have notes a brief description and that's why edit titles should have been, it wasn't completed and it should be taken out. So we're gonna delete it. Now it's out of there and our report would be accurate. Let's run it again. We go ahead and close this one. Be on the package we wanna hit. Hit function key eight, bring up the dialog box, generate, view, and there we go. All right, so next under the elements, we wanna show the connection. So when we're looking at our artifacts, our diagrams, you can see that the source is connected to the target. The source is connected to the target. And we want to understand what is going on between these source and targets in a report. So this listen very carefully, because this is where a lot of modelers make mistakes. You see connector right here? If we go ahead and check that, you'll see opening, closing tags pops up. We don't want this, right? So we're gonna go ahead and close. Always make sure you remove any line spaces that you don't when you do that. Otherwise, they're going to be created in your report. If you open up element and you come down here, you're able to see a list of choices that you can make in your reporting. And there's a lot to choose from. If you go all the way down here, you'll see connector. We're gonna go ahead and select it. And then you'll see source and target. You can open it up and you can see that. Right now, all we're gonna do is source and target and we're not gonna choose anything else. And we're gonna go ahead and leave this instruction text in here to see what shows up in the report. We're gonna hit Control S to save, be on the package we wanna test. Hit F8, function key eight, dialog box pops up, leave everything the same in our test here, nothing's changed, hit generate and hit view. So now what we see is the author, the notes, and then we see your source fields and your target fields and your connector fields, right? The instructions, and that's why I leave them in there, it just shows me what we wanna do in this design. All right, we're back over to our editor. I'm gonna go ahead and take this line out because I'm not gonna have anything between the connector open and closing tags. However, I do want the source element and the target element, All right? So we've inputted those in. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the target. You can see the opening and closing. I'm gonna right click on it and I should have name available. There we go. And then for the source, right here, element, source, I am going to select all of this, or you can do it like we were doing it below. Uh, insert fields, and I wanna bring in name, right? Now, as far as the any information, if I right click in here, I don't need any of this information. 
that's getting a little bit more detailed into cardinality, roles, role names, and things like that. We're not incorporating that. So I hope me saying that is not uh, confusing you. Go ahead and take out this one. There we go. Let's go ahead and run this report. I'm going to hit save. Go to manage inventory, hit function key eight. And then in the dialog box, we're going to leave everything the same and hit generate and hit view. So now you can start to see the elements show up, but you can't read this. This is kind of confusing. We need to format this so that it makes these connectors to each other more relevant. So let's go ahead and close this and we're going to add in a table. All right, so I'm going to go to the opening connector tab, put in a line space. Up in the top here, you see table, insert table, go ahead and select that. Let's see here, two rows, three columns. That's exactly what I need to start. So let's go ahead and insert this in. And in this case, we have uh, source, target, and then we're going to have some notes. Descriptions, I'm going to leave in notes, All right? I'm not going to change the fonts at this particular time. Now in this, I want the source, I want the source opening down to the source closing. Control X to cut that out, doesn't work. So what I need to do is I'm going to take these out. So it's warning me what's going to happen. I'll let you read this. It's undoable. Didn't really do anything, so it's not important. I don't want any spaces in here. So we're going to do something like that, make it tight, right? Now, right here in source, I'm going to hit source and element. You see that it went into the table when I did that. I'm going to go to target. I'm going to hit target and target element. Now I have these inside here, all right? And then I can come over here and I can put in, you know, if I right click, I can come in here and I could put in notes, right? So I'm just going to put in connector notes at this particular point, and then we'll see what it looks like and make any changes if necessary. So as usual, we're going to hit control S to save. We're going to make sure we're on the test package we want to report on. We're going to hit function key eight to bring up our document generator dialog box. Leave everything else the same, hit generate and hit view. Now we see for each element who it's authored by, any notes, and then the associations. However, when we're looking at the associations, we're not getting the names. We're just getting these field tags that are in here. So let's go back over here and look and see why. Well, we didn't choose any names. We left these in here, all right? So good, always good when you're running your test. Let's go ahead and close this and let's put in the right element names and data that should be in here. So just as before, do I have the data that I need here for these source fields? Let me uh, right click, bring this up. I don't need any of this, all right? So I am going to remove that. However, element name, I'm going to select all this, remove it, and element name, I'm going to right click, insert name. Right now I've got element name, right? Same thing goes with target. Don't need this. And for this, I want to right click, insert field, and I want name. There we go, right? And then for notes, I'm going to leave that in there. Uh, for my title bar and my table, I'll just make this bold for now. And then I'm going to hit control S and I'm going to make sure I'm on the package I want. Hit function key eight, bring up our dialog box, hit generate and hit view, All right? Now we see source target notes, source target notes for each one of these, All right? So the thing I have left to do is Change the font style to Verdana to match everything else. All right, go ahead and close this. And that's just as easy as going to the template, selecting everything, and V for Verdana. Now everything's Verdana. All right, let's run it again. If 
function key eight and bring up the dialog box, generate view, and that's better, all right? So now we've created, we go over resources, list, which is a pretty simple template versus list details, the template we've been working on. List still works just fine. We go back over to project on the folder we want, hit function key eight. We're gonna choose list, list details. We want list, there we go. Generate, view. Now we have our simple list report and we've got our detailed report. All right, we're gonna start wrapping up here. Probably the last thing I wanna show you, we have a table in here, and if you were to actually see this in Word or even a rich text, you wouldn't see the borders. You're only seeing the outline and the template to help you understand that there, this is a table. I would select everything, go back up into the bar up here, we're under Document Edit tab, and I would go All Borders to give it borders. You can give your borders colors and things like that. But now it's gonna be easier to read when we go to run this report, function key eight. Make sure we've got our right template. So that's list details, leave everything else the same. Hit generate and then hit view. And now you can see we've got a clean border around each one of them. And if we were to look at this document in Microsoft Word or rich text format, you would see a board around that. So that's the only thing I would close and talk about. A lot of things you could add in. You can bring in pagination, page one, page two. You can put headers across the top, just like you can do in Microsoft Word or other word processing programs when you're creating anything, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right now in this session. In the next session, we're actually going to add a diagram element into our report and maybe even look at what a real solution approach report would look like using what you've learned so far. So thanks very much for watching this. I look forward to talking to you in the next session. Happy modeling.